Hi guys, how are you doing? Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to be a fail. Let's see, Pippin. Oh, we're going to go into Tal Bistro Catacombs. But look at it, guys. I thought I'd come early. I thought I'd come early, beat the crowds, eh? This is old, this is um, Catacombs. That's the biggest, oldest. On this main road, this main road is the old Roman road to Salina. And they found this under a farmhouse. So there's like a farm on top of it for many years. In fact, they thought it was completely lost because it was found in the 1800s. And I noticed that place over there. See the uh, a sort of greenhouse? I saw this being built many years ago because it's been open for a few years. And I never had chance. And then with this uh, epidemic, it's been closed for oh, a good six months, I think. And I saw this thing being built over there, and I thought, wow, what's that? It's one of these big villas, because there's some lovely big villas here. In fact, I don't know, some of the old expats. I just mentioned to one guy, I said, uh, oh, this used to be the Mary Spateri's house. I said, who's Mary Spateri? So I said, oh, I'm showing my age. Mary Spateri was a Eurovision uh, singer, multi-singer. She had a big villa here. And we always used to go into uh, out at night. We'd say, we'll, meet, we'll all meet at Mary Spateri's house so we could, different directions, and we would go down to Bujiba. Anyway, I'm not sure what I'm going to do because it's very, very hot. And there's a massive queue. Hello. Somebody. <laughs> a lot of people waving. Is it me? <laughs> Let's go in. It's only two euros to go in. And even that, I think you can claim back from the water uh, council, which oh, it's a donation. Normally it's five euros to go in. I'm going to go and wait in the queue, see how long it takes. But they didn't even make any shade, so we're going to be stuck in the sun. Uh, this is a very, very nice catacomb. Wait to the end, guys. I've seen some pictures, I've heard about it, been talking to some people. Very, very interesting. And it actually goes under the road. I'm going to show you uh, the actual place it goes under. Then we'll go and wait in the queue. Because if I don't wait in the queue, it's getting longer. Let's cross over quickly. <laughs> oh, look, Golden Islands. So here somewhere, at this point, Down here is the, uh, and it goes under the road, here, at this point here. There's a tunnel under the road here. This is the garden, it looks like. All right. Wow, and these are some villas. This is an old farmhouse, and uh, they found out that they were keeping animals in it in this place. So they were a little bit damaged. But they've really brought it back to something really special. Okay guys, let's go and wait in the queue. This is my island in the sun. <laughs> Still waiting in the queue guys. I've, someone just told me that it goes underneath the road as well over there. You can see just behind that. Uh, very busy. Probably they're just letting in small amount of people at a time because it's uh, was supposed to be a tunnel. When they when they found this in the 1800s, they thought they damaged it completely because uh, they did the construction of the road. This is the old Roman road going down to Salina from Melite. Uh, Oh, some, some nice people beyond here. So they thought they damaged it, and then they found out that... So I'm not sure if we're going to go under the road. It's going to be very interesting, guys. I'm not going to keep you waiting on the queue, because it's, it's hot as well. It's a family day out. Come on, guys. Still waiting. We're nearly getting to the front here. I think today is special. Uh, two euros. We've already been about... Maybe 20 minutes walking in. 
car park is full though. This was the road, the old Roman road going down to Salina Bay. Salina Bay used to be a, a port for the Romans. But these catacombs way before the Romans. I'm gonna find some more information. I think it was very old, but I'm gonna find out exactly when we go inside. Because I didn't get much information about it. <laughs> Getting close to guys. Very busy this road. This is a link between uh, Emdina going up to the north and Mostyn just around the corner. It's my friend here. Pussy B. We're going in guys. <laughs> we made it guys. <laughs> Mm. To go through some formalities, I think testing the temperature, they need the name and uh, you can buy brochures, you can buy some souvenirs. Yeah, I want it. Okay, sweetie, thank you. Stay away, sir. Two euros to go in. Eh? This lady is taking all the checks here. Yeah. So let's have a look where we go. Probably we're going the wrong way. Oh, this is a balcony. They've got a kids' playing area. Guardian here. We're going to go down. Eh? The gallery, a bit. Englishman. Ah, hello. How are you? <laughs> we got noticed already. Tara, I'm popular. <laughs> I'm popular. <laughs> hello. Wow, many people here. This is a tomb here, I think. Can I go inside? Ooh. Oh, nothing here. Ah, this is the tomb. Ah, uh, nothing in here, no. <laughs> These are the tombs where they used to... Oh, don't worry, I get plenty. No, I think different things. Semi, semi detached. <laughs> wow, I'm out of information here. Very interesting, though. Wow. This is a really original. Whoa! Oh, it's very dark down here. This way, the the catacombs. Wow! <laughs> Some toilets, guys. Oh, these are the toilet area. I understand this goes under the road, so I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen. More of these rooms, these catacombs. Wow, this is interesting. Look at this. It's got steps. All dug by hand. Are you okay? Oh, good. And this is going underneath the road, I think. Yeah. Ah, oh, this is from the honey, eh? I remember now. Hello. How are you? Oh, I've been meaning to come. I thought she, I thought uh, she was a subscriber, and I, and I thought, where have I seen her? But with the mask. We have to, we have to set something up. Remember this one, guys? Oh, I'm so busy. I got about six or seven lined up. You can come and buy a raw honey. Look. 
Yeah, I put, last time I put a link on the video. I, I thought I recognized your wife. This is going under the road, eh? This is underneath the road. Oh, well, so we're underneath that busy road, guys. You come to everyone like this, this... They invite us because we keep these with them, so... Yeah, they got a lot. They have a lot of products here. Original Maltese honey. But I have to go one. I thought I'd recognize you now, because I... Hello, <laughs> Mishmeh. Oh, this is the thing, hey, this is the category. Oh, oh. Even when I'm walking along, I, people say to me, oh, Englishman, Englishman, so... <laughs> wow, it's, I never, I've been meaning to come here for a well, long time. Nice. How they do the stuff. Yeah, it's yeah, it's nice. Let's have a look down here. Oh, yeah, look at this, guys. We're under the road here, and then we've gone on the... I'll, I'll show you. Let me get to the top there, I'll show you how it's... Uh, the road going over to the other side. Uh, conservation. These they've kept it away from the public. Yeah, they did this really beautiful. And this is on the other side of the road, guys, now. Many people would know this area. We used to know it in the old days. Mary Spiteri's house. I don't know, she was a singer of the Univision. And when people say to you, I'll meet you by Mary's, Mary's Pastere house, it's the big island just before Mostar. It's just at the back here, I don't think it's this one. Eh? Hello. How are you? You're good? What's your name then? No, it's what the music. <laughs> yeah, look at this guy. Very interesting, eh? Goes down quite deep down there as well. All these boats to hold, to hold it in place. They actually thought, uh, some years ago, they thought that this place had been destroyed because they did the construction of the, of the road above. There's the road, look, on the top here. Actually where those honey people are. They did the construction, then they lost it, because this was only discovered 1800s, so... Uh, beautiful hand carved. Oh, look at that guy. And then they put this thing on the top. They should do it to a lot of the temples because the uh, acid rain and the erosion, it kills this. Looks like it's temperature controlled as well here. Wow, look at this. Very beautiful. Oh, that's the door, look. They even made a door. There it is, look. Yeah. Jib, uh, beep, beep, beep in uh, word of the day, guys. Beep, door. <laughs> these bolts as well, these are holding it in place to stop it uh, cracking away. natural breaks in the in the rock in the stone it went well, quite deep down there oh look at this lots of water erosion eh?
Look at that circle there, guys. Like a, a circle doorways. A lot of dump down here, though. I think the water got down here. It's, uh, you can see the green and the plants growing down there. This might have something to go on the top there. So this is the original layers. I would never thought we were actually going underneath the road. I saw this being built on the other side of the road. I thought it was part of the villa. down slowly guys just show these are very intriguing these little doorways and alleyways joining to the there was quite a few people down there uh, so what I'll do is walk back that way again interesting though isn't it? to see this perfectly cut out in squares. Huh? I think maybe it was just the initial rush, you know, like I should have known better. When I went over to uh, Bumarat, I was in the afternoon and there was nobody. Most these people like to come early at the beginning and uh, big rush and then it goes quiet. There's a lot of foreigners here though as well. There's, uh, I was hearing different languages. She confused me a bit. When I walked in, she said, take your passport over there. I said, why should I need a passport? Uh, Alice with passports. She said, oh, Martin, well, you can go to the Mostar and claim the money back. I said, I don't need to claim any money back. Two, two euros is nothing to go in. I was trying to find the history about this place. Uh, these are just bits and pieces of um, the windows, right? the tomb windows. The window tomb is one of the preferred tomb types in the Maltese catacombs. It consists of an oval burial chamber accessed through a window-like opening that was unusually set within the arches. Maybe like this, they're talking about this sort of... You can see the tomb inside there. It's a big tour, isn't it? Not the class, it's a car, but I didn't say because of the ideas. I'm going to talk to these honey guys because I was going to set something up and um, see if we can go over and have a look. 
This is, this is the place, anyway. We're going to go under the road now and we're going to have a look at the other side. So we're back out from under the road. If you can hear the road on top of us. These are some more tombs. What's this, the letterbox? <laughs> And there's a park, there's like a garden with a kiddies play area. Hello, I met you before. Eh? I do videos on YouTube, go around. I went over to uh, uh, Salina. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I've been meaning to come here for a long time. I didn't have a chance. Yeah. I was be I watching your videos and sharing them though about the oh, at least help a little bit. Eh? This is the bird life, guys. Eh? This is these beautiful girls. Hello. Beautiful birds. <laughs> <laughs> no, I put the I put the link below so they can come over and uh, I think some people came over and donated something. I'm, oh, that's I'm not sure. Incredible. Yeah. Thank you very much. No problem. Any, any yeah, I do try and share a little bit. Eh? Thank you very Even much. for the honey and things like that, I try and share them. Eh? Thank you very much. Right. Oh, and this is the kids' play area. Vera, they're doing a good, really good job there. Controversial uh, bird life mortar because they're doing a lot against the hunters. Uh, I'm not saying all the hunters are bad. But there's an element of bad in every uh, group of people. And there is a lot of illegal trapping going on in Malta. Uh, they have, whether you agree it or not, the government agrees with it. Uh, of the uh, seasons uh, of trapping and shooting and things like that. But they do it outside that period. And these actually keep an eye on it, bird life. I remember seeing her. Remember we went to that place, Selena, uh, over at Selena. We talked to her there. She showed me around a little bit. Let's have another look around here. What is here? Is there a garden here? Hello? Is in a garden there? Oh, okay. This is nothing. Oh, there's something here. Yes. History of modern, about the abduction. Of this. Hello. So this is where we came in. We didn't. Well, we went in that tomb. That's the way out. Oh, Captain Zamit. Huh? Yeah, but just uh, no, much problem. Sorry. Yeah, it's interesting, guys. I'm gonna walk uh, 
back through a bit more. This is the best one, I think. This is really interesting. And this black here from when the fires, they had the fire inside. Oh, this one I did. Hello? Hello? Anybody there? Well, Steve, I promised Steve I did that I would do a video. Now, listen, listen up. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and a comment, nice comments only, please. And send it off to see if, and why not? Why not Patreon? Starts at four pounds a month. Can't be bad. Look at this glorious weather. Oh, I sound like that Welsh. Um, uh, um, oh, I'm Wynne Jones doing the weather. Look at this beautiful weather. We've got St Ives. Rather be in Malta, but hey-ho. Anyway, I'm going to go now. Bye-bye. I didn't go in yet. Where's the baby one, you think, Ollie? Ah, that one's probably not a baby one. That one is probably where they put a light or a torch or something like that. Yeah, there's lots of room too. Hope the GoPro is picking this up, guys. <laughs> Interesting, cut out those. Oh, there's a way going, going down even deeper, look, there it goes. You can't go through there, though. Subscribe to my channel and give me lots of likes.